Shalom, all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shabashim, Rakakadash, Dava Anish, the Apostles, a great millstone, and salutation, I can teach all truth sincerity. Uh, this video is going to be called um, Let Your Light Shine. So, uh, I'm going to read Matthew 5 and 14. It says, Ye are the light of the world, uh, a city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So, the light uh, would, would us be pushing this word uh, out on the highways and byways throughout the four corners of the earth. Um, from the elders and apostles of Great Millstone on down, we are basically the light of the world. Uh, we're pushing this word week in and week out uh, on the com on the internet, the uh, on you know on the street corners. We're pushing this word, and uh, this word uh, cannot be hidden from from the world anymore because it's all over. Uh, you know, YouTube basically made it mainstream all over you know i made it uh go viral what's the word viral not mainstream it's lucky viral but um uh, this word being pushed uh is um it's a light that cannot be hit um you know it says because it says in scripture um uh, there's a scripture in the Bible is talking about not hiding your wisdom, um, hiding your wisdom. Uh, I don't know where it is right now, but I'm thinking about that scripture right now is talk about not hiding your wisdom. Uh, but in verse 15 it says, um, "Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick." It is given light unto all that are in the house. So we're not supposed to put, because they're comparing the word, comparing this wisdom to a candlestick. We're not supposed to put that, a candlestick that's lit under a bushel because it's going to burn. And that's hiding your wisdom, basically. We're supposed to go out there and preach and teach and basically get the blood off our hands and uh, continue preaching and teaching until... The chariots come, you know, and because uh, that's part of letting your light shine. It's a part of um, showing your good works, which which um, that uh, will basically uh, glorify the uh, how about you now, shot because his name is uh, what needs to be glorified. And, you know, that that's. Basically, his his um, that he needs to be glorified. Uh, um, verse um sixteen says, "Let your light shine so, so shine, let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven." So, because you know, faith without works is dead. So if we show our good works by teaching this word on the highways and byways. And we continue doing it, and um, you know how will Bashin Yahusha will get the glory above everything, you know. Um, so my next scripture I want to get was um First Timothy uh, four and fourteen. It says, "Neglect not the gift that is." In thee, which was given thee by prophecy with the laying on the so we're not supposed to neglect the gift that was given to us by Yahweh Bashim Al Shai. Uh, like, uh, if Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, uh, basically has opened your eyes to the knowledge of this truth. And is uh, asked or 
you know, has given me the knowledge of this truth from the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and it and has told you to go out on the highways and byways and uh, go out and um, basically teach or go out and um, stay on the other side and take notes from the from the uh, the camp the the camp that you come across that's a part of Great Millstone then you basically put your hand to the um you basically been called to prophesy uh, be a part of the prophets at least but you've been called to prophesy to go prophesy um this truth and um we're not supposed to neglect uh our talents because if we're called to preach this truth, you know, it says, cry aloud, spare not, lift thy voice like a trumpet, and show our people their transgressions. So if we're supposed to go out there and teach, we're not supposed to neglect our gift. Our gift to teach this word, you know. Because it says in the scriptures, um, uh, a servant that uh only had one talent and buried it he um he got um he didn't get a reward and all the other servants that had talents and they they came up and they uh what's the word they um multiplied their talents they got a reward but the servant that didn't multiply and neglected his talent he didn't get a reward. He got punished for it, you know. So we're not supposed to neglect the gifts that were given to us by the Most High to preach this word. We're supposed to go out and multiply our talents and what's the word? Uh, uh what's the word? Um, multiply our talents. Um, gather fruit, you know, for repentance. You know, meat for repentance. Uh, what's to gather? Gather fruit. Um, uh, the fruit, and you know, um, I wanted to finish that scripture. Is um. First Timothy four and fourteen. Neglect not the gift that is in thee, which is given thee by prophecy, with with the laying on the hands of the presbytery, which is the order, uh, the congregation order of elders. So, um, so we're not supposed to um, neglect our gifts that were given to us. I'm not supposed. We're supposed to, um, you know, uh, honor and prophesy. Uh, just to honor and prophesy. Uh, you know what we've been taught. You know from the elders. Um, we're supposed to meditate. As verse fifteen says. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy property may appear to all. So we're supposed to take what we've been taught from the elders and apply it and preach it and teach it and continue um, pushing it, you know, throughout the four corners of the earth. Because what they've learned, what we learn from the elders, they've learned from their elders. And, you know, what we're teaching is out the scriptures. And it's the same word, you know, we're pushing, you know. Um, it says, take heed unto thyself and unto doctrine, continue in them. For in, the, in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and then they hear thee. So we, um, we take heed to the doctrine and we endure and continue preaching this word. And doing the work of the Lord, you know, we can save ourselves and, you know, them that hear thee, especially our families, too. Uh, we can save them through us, you know. 
um and it also says in john uh john saint john uh 21 because yahweh told peter about three times feed my sheep feed my lambs and um and the point i made saying gather fruit we're supposed to um it says in scripture at matthew 10 and 5 go to the lost sheep of the house of israel for preaching our people as i was saying cry aloud spare not lift our voice like a trumpet and show that people their transgressions so we're out there um letting our light shine before men see our good works uh we're out there trying to feed the flock of of your house shy's pasture which is the elect so if we trying to feed them trying to do this work and push and you know continuing you know that's basically letting our light shine and but uh this is um john 21 and 15 so when they had dined how shy said to simon peter simon son of jonas lovest thou me more than these he saith unto him yea lord thou knowest i love thee he saith unto him, feed my lambs. So Yahushua tells Peter uh, th three times to do this. Um, and I'm going to continue reading. But he said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He, uh, he saith unto him, yea, Lord, thou knowest I love thee. He saith unto him, feed my sheep. And uh, he saith, Unto him the third time, Simon son Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things, thou knowest that I love thee. Yahushai said unto him, feed my sheep. So we're called to feed the sheep of Yahushai, uh, to feed the sheep which are the elect we're called we're called to feed the sheep the lost sheep of the house of israel we're called to feed our people this truth and and you know to spread this truth to the entire world because all this knowledge is being pushed through the four corners of the earth anyway and that's you know the light of the world the world that that's the light within this world because you know, all in all the in this world is all wickedness pushed twenty four seven, you know. Um and the uh the secrets were revealed unto the prophets. Um so these secret things that we know uh this truth has been pushed onto the prophets. This knowledge has been the secret. Our secret things that have been pushed upon among us because we're the prophets. Um, this is uh, Amos 3 and 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealed his secrets unto his, his service prophets. So all the things that we know from the RFID chip, microchip, uh, the war three is coming. Uh, America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear destruction. Uh, the kingdom is coming down on earth. All the secret things that we've been revealed to us was revealed to us only, basically. We know what we ought to know, but we push all these things to the world because these prophecies are basically coming to pass. And as we continue pushing, the kingdom will come, you know. Uh, this is, um, Isaiah 48. Let me see. Okay, this is Isaiah 48 and 6. Thou, thou hast heard, see, all this, and we will, and will not yet ye declare it. I have showed thee new things from this time, even hidden things, and thou didst not know them. Uh, so, we 
we um we know um we've been um showed the secret things but it says um we've been shown the new things from this time even hidden things thou didst not know them so we've been showed the things we didn't even know about that were um that were uh we show things that that we didn't even know were possible to know, and you know, basically we've been woken up out of the matrix. We've been woken up out of the matrix, you know. Um, my last scripture I wanted to get was Matthew. Uh, uh, twenty four and forty two, and. Then I, this is on Matthew 24 and 42. It says, Watch therefore, for ye know not what hour your Lord do come. So we watch and pray for the signs. And, you know, we watch and pray for the signs because the signs are actually visible to us. So we continue to be the watchmen and watch out for the shepherd to come. Um. Uh, but know this, that if the good man of the house had known and what watched the thief would come, he would have watched and would not have suffered his house to be broken up. So um, if a wise watchman was watching over the house, he would have watched the thief and the thief would have never came and broken up the house, you know. Therefore, be ye also ready for in such an hour as ye Think not the Son of Man coming, who is a faithful and wise servant, whom his Lord has made ruler over his house to give them meat in due season. Blessed is the servant whom his Lord, when he cometh, shall find so doing. So the elect, uh, the elect of the, of, of the nation of Israel will, and you know, will be continue pushing this word until the very end, until the chariots come. So. So, and you know, the true watchmen will continue doing the work until the chariots are here, you know. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna say all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushua, Bashim, Karkadash, the monitor, the elder apostles, the great millstone, Saitashi, Akin, teach all true sincerity and shalom.